You have a valve issue. I've seen it before. Where you have one of these monsters at home? Steam-powered guillotine. I built it when I was ten. I wanted to decapitate my dolls more efficiently. Wednesday certainly is an extreme person, but if you're having trouble getting your accounting to balance, don't get extreme like Wednesday. This next scene has all you need to know to get back in balance, including these four steps to balance. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Professor Kathy, and I help students get better grades in less time, and I teach using a Netflix style of learning. And this week I'm watching Wednesday. And in this scene, everyone's having fun at the dance. It's decorated in a Yeti theme, blue and white, but Wednesday looks completely different from everyone else. She's not having fun, and she's wearing a dress that I would call gothic, but people under 30 would call emo, and I'm not completely sure what that is. So this reminds me of the four steps to get back in balance, and step number one is what is different. Find the difference between your debits and your credits, and if you recognize that number, that just means that you forgot to include it. So go through your list of balances in your trial balance, and you'll find that number. Let's go through an example together. So we can see in this example, we've got a trial balance that is not in balance. Debits do not equal credits. So the first step I do is look at what is different. What is the difference between my debits and my credits? and I get a value of $900. So my first step is to go through my list of account balances to see are there any balances that are worth $900. And sure enough, I look in my list of accounts and I missed prepaid insurance which has a balance of $900. Once I include that, I am now in balance. Thank you, thing. Take a look at this next video where I go over step two in detail with an example. We'll see you next time.